Good evening from Animal Kingdom Lodge. My name is Ryan and in this video, we're gonna check out Boma and answer the question, is this the best buffet on Walt Disney World property? We hope to answer that question as we're about to hop in and have some dinner as a family here at Boma. Without further ado, let the adventure begin. is a buffet style restaurant inside the Animal Kingdom Lodge at Walt Disney World that you're gonna wanna make reservations for in advance. One great benefit of eating here for breakfast or dinner is if you're here early or after your meal, you can always come out and enjoy some of the animals around the resort. There's a little seating area here at the lower level of the resort below the lobby area that you can wait for your table to be ready I want to show you the pricing currently in 2023. The breakfast pricing is $35 for adults, $21 for kids age 3 to 9. The dinner pricing comes out to $54 for adults and $32 for children. If you are a DVC member or an annual pass holder, you do get a 10% discount at this restaurant. So we're excited to bring you inside and try this place out with you. So first things first, let's come grab a plate and show you what's all on the buffet. The first thing they had was the sweet corn pudding with spinach and jam. They also had the sweet and white potato mash, some herb crusted potatoes, and they also had some salmon right here. Next to that at this carving area, they had some barbecue pork ribs with tamarind sauce. These were fall off the bone. They were really good. Along with the horseradish sauce, some sambal, and some boma mustard, which is a chipotle and teriyaki sauce that you could use on this African carved strip loin that was available the night that we were here. Next to that, they had this Durban style roasted chicken. And they also had this South African dish with ground beef, lamb, mushrooms, and eggs. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name. I'd probably totally butcher it. Next, kids of all ages will be happy to grab some of these chicken bites that they have here, along with the classic macaroni and cheese that's available here at Boma, some penne pasta, you have some spaghetti sauce with some meatballs. And right next to that, you have some corn, peas, and carrots. They have some peanut rice, which is made with coconut milk, soy sauce, and ginger. They have some spiced green beans with golden raisins. Next to that, some West African black-eyed peas with stewed tomatoes. And finally, some basmati rice. Now we come to the soup, starting off with this Cape Malay lamb curry tomato-based soup. Right next to that, a butternut squash soup, a chicken corn chowder soup, and a seafood, almost a gumbo type soup here at the end. All of these were really good. We'll tell you which one our favorite was. Next to that was kind of like a lentil soup. It was pronounced Harira, I think along with an interesting combination of watermelon and tomato salad. Next to that was a tri-colored pasta with a curried mayonnaise, which was really good, and some traditional coleslaw, along with a chickpea salad and this tabbouleh salad, along with a couscous and shrimp salad, which was good, and this cauliflower salad. Boma also had your traditional mixed green salads along with a number of things you could add to it from tomatoes to chickpeas to feta cheese, seeds, onions, olives, and a buttermilk dressing. They also had a number of different fruits here at this little station from your cut melons here with some grapes, some watermelon, along with some spiced cottage cheese with pineapple chutney. Interesting to try. Traditional strawberries and grapes. And they had a hummus station with some pita bread. You can see here the traditional hummus, some sun-dried hummus, and some coriander hummus, along with some butter, some different cornbreads, and flatbreads you could pick from. As you can see, there's not a shortage of things to pick from on the dinner buffet. I'm gonna go over all the different desserts, but first we're gonna head back to our table 
and try out some dinner. So after we took a moment to thank God for all this wonderful food we're about to eat, we also got some pog juice from our waiter. Your drinks are included with that buffet price and the pog juice is always so good. Everyone in our family enjoys pog juice. And again, pog stands for passion fruit, orange, and guava. It's a fantastic drink that you can get with your buffet. My favorite part about Boma were these soups were fantastic. I really love this butternut squash, which you can also get at the Mara, the quick service restaurant. This corn chowder was good, a little bit on the spicier side. And again, I like this gumbo style chicken and shrimp one it was really good. Really good soups. The kids were happy. They could get their mac and cheese, their chicken bites some fresh fruit. This spice cottage cheese with the pineapple chutney was really fun to try. And again, we really like this tricolor pasta with the curry sauce. So we got lots of good variety of different salads. Everything we had for dinner was fresh and delicious. We really enjoyed it. I'm gonna show you the desserts, but before we do, if you are new here and you haven't yet subscribed, we'd love to have you join us on all our future adventures here at Disney and beyond. Let's head over here and check out these desserts. Starting with this banana bread pudding, which came out fresh and hot and also included some vanilla sauce. You've got your traditional chocolate chip cookies. They were pretty fresh and soft, along with some little vanilla cupcakes back here. Now we get to the more interesting things like this Kenyan coffee tart to the bottom right here and you gotta get some zebra domes at Boma. That's one of our favorite desserts they had. They also had these little passion fruit mousses with little Mickeys on top. They had this little pineapple thing. It was not that great. And they also had this hazelnut brownie that you could get. So Brie got a sample plate so we could try all of these different things from the mousse to this hazelnut brownie. You can see the inside to this Kenya coffee tart. And then of course, the zebra cake, which is ooey and gooey as she cut into it. So as we cut all these up to try them out, the winner ended up being the zebra dome. It was our favorite. I went back a couple times to get some more zebra domes. I also added some of this banana bread pudding with the vanilla sauce was also really good. So that's an overview of the dinner buffet at Boma, including all the desserts that are available. Overall, our family really enjoyed it. It might be our favorite buffet at Walt Disney World. There was plenty of options for the kids between the chicken bites, mac and cheese. So even though there's some unique African themed foods that can be on the spicier side, Overall, this was a fantastic experience. We would definitely recommend going back, but we'd love to hear from you in the comments. What's your favorite thing on the Boma Buffet if you've ever been there, or what do you prefer, their dinner or their breakfast? Let us know down in the comments. Feel free to ask us any questions. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.